All right, mo all right, guys. So today we're gonna change up injection unit pump or injector unit pump, okay, guys. So here's the new injector unit pump. So dudes, and this is a brand new, and this is a dudes three cylinder. F the model is F F3L. Yeah, I think in 2005 model. Yeah, here, guys. So gonna change is number two yeah this is a front engine and three cylinder but guys this is a awkward cylinder number okay here this is a number one two and three so if you are facing on the front of engine this is number three cylinder or number three injector this is a uh, backward okay so three two one uh, oh, sorry, sorry. One, two, three. Okay. This is your facing. This is a air cold engine. No, air cold. No, no radiator. No coolant. Just only air cold. Uh, driven by belt only. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you're facing here on the uh, motor. Uh, so the first injector is number three, two, one. Okay. Here the tools what you need that guys for replacing the injector. A set of timing pin for your camshaft, crankshaft, and this one is for your pin timing for the injector. Okay, I'm gonna show you where I put this, okay? This one it's for this bolt. This this is for your crankshaft and the other one, it's over here at the back. Here, this is for your camshaft, okay. And this small piece for timing is this for here, this bolt beside of this injector, okay. Put a screw in here until the touch on the camshaft right before you remove this okay let's do this to unbolt everything on here so we change this one why i'm gonna change this it's because of leaking on here so suggestion of this the owner we change whole thing so let's do that okay okay guys simple tip only if you before you undo this Injector or any kind of fuel, make sure you blow the air all because uh, a small, a small foreign metal or material or any any kind of debris go inside. Uh, maybe it's, it's broken or your whole motor or just the side effect on this unit pump. Okay, make sure there's no kind of dirt material. Okay. Always clean it before you undo or put it back, okay? Okay, guys, so the first thing we do is undo this all your fuel line. This uh, line is going to your injector. Yeah, because this is a unit pump, this is your injector. This is going to your injector, okay? So undo all the fuel line. Okay, guys, this bottom side, this is a high pressure line, okay? This is from your filter. From your fuel filter. And this on the top, it's your return side. And this is your high pressure line also. This one. Okay. And make sure, because there's a washer on every banjo bolt. So, make sure secure the banjo bolt and reuse it. Okay, this one and there's another one in the inside. Okay, each of that. So make sure not falling it because if you lose it, yeah, that's a big headache. Okay, guys, so let's do that. Alright, guys, so let's to remove this in unit injector. Okay. 
Yan. Okay. And let's remove the cup for this timing. Be careful because there's already have a gasket, but the gasket is intact here, so I use that also. Okay, right, guys, so another bigger pull on this gasket it's because this gasket is there's a thickness gauge so there's a every gasket there's a thickness so make sure if you change this is a new one it's the same or else or go to the manufacturing standard of what kind of thickness on here but right now for me i use this one so just leave it like that so let's put on the pin okay guys so hold on i put on this okay guys do you see this hole it's hard That's your timing insert. So we need to insert this on here. This timing it's for the injection only. So guys, so no need we no need to insert the timing pin for the crankshaft in the camshaft. We use only there if you change change three of this unit injection pump or we need to timing for top dead center and guys so and after I you insert this it's not yet done guys so until we need to pull it down here so after you insert this remove remove that top it and turn and turn the crankshaft to make sure that the cam lube is already all the way up going to your top it to make sure timing okay so yeah that's your top it for the unit injector yeah so remove that and make sure when you put it back you need the slot this you see the slot to make sure it's all the way down like that the guide and also your unit injector there's a bug guide on here you see the slot yeah on the plate yeah so during you put it back the injector always check to make sure it's already aligned if not aligned and you're already tightening the nuts on these two your new injector your new pump you are in the trouble now <laughs> yeah see i'm gonna show you here's your and guys so ito yan wala laglag pa yan kailangan na make sure we already in on this and die slot if not yeah that's that's your big problem yan okay so right now i'm gonna insert on this pin Okay guys, so I, I explained to you, I don't know how to explain to you carefully, but if you're already on the, uh, do that on yourself, maybe you have an idea now. I'm giving to you idea of what I'm doing. Okay, so, uh, let, let's to insert on this. Guys, additional only, uh, it's because right now, I, I can put pull it in on this my timing pin it's because of this plate you see this plate it's bumping on here so right now I gonna do it's easy the best way to put on the timing pin inside so easy remove this shot of bulb guys so but do not remove totally just only 
put on the middle so if all the way out just put on the middle only so at least i think one millimeter losing going out on the shutter barb okay so let's do that and just only lose losing the bolt guys yeah okay and guys so and pull little bit okay and check yeah guys so see that it's I don't know how to show you sorry guys so I don't have a <laughs> good cameraman I'm only one look at this plate right now it's moving now it's because I already lost see so there's a hole inside there is lot so directly on this my pin go on here so right now it's moving so should be good I think so so I think it's easy to insert now if not easy just lose it again the shadow pub solenoid yeah right now yeah to make sure the slot is all the way in okay guys so i think we need to lose more the shadow bulb okay guys so we already have a perfect timing now so you see that is lot that one is already in the middle it means you already in the timing so i already properly set on this my timing fin yeah so let's you look at the slot on this plate see it's already in the middle okay you just it's just loose in this two bolt only for your shot of bulb and yeah guys so this is your solenoid shot of bulb just loose in the bolt and make sure the this slot for the plate is pre pre play and insert this timing pin okay so right now i'm gonna try to remove this Tap it and I check the camshaft if in the on position for this unit injector before I put on the new one. Okay, hey guys, so this is your tap it for your unit injector. So, this is your camshaft. So, now the camshaft is not the camshaft lube. It's not all the way up like that. So let's let's turn the crankshaft, and it already all the way up. Just put it back the tap it. Okay, let's turn the crankshaft. Okay, guys, I gonna show you again. During I turn the crankshaft, and let's check the loop for the camshaft. Make sure, oops, make sure that loop is all the way up pointing to the top it okay see you see the turning little bit and I think should be good hey right, guys so uh, and top it's all the way up okay okay so i already put on the sorry guys i didn't show you it how to put on the tappet but i use only this snap ring plier and i gonna and guys so uh, and pop up like that so make sure guys because the top is there's a dowel so always check the top the dowel is already on the slot okay and and put the gasket on here so i use the old gasket guys so uh, 
I don't have a new gasket but my gasket is looks good so I use the old again put it back and now put on the new injector okay guys so simple tip again because this is a brand new so it's already set up from the manufacturing on this this is your lock so after we install that so remove that lock and use this the old one so because this one we need this so pop up like that and put this lock over there and use it put on this okay but right now let's install this let's go okay guys so this is a new one so you see you see this make sure we put on that slot this one okay if not yeah you rake the new one so before you install guys so i suggest you apply the little bit of engine oil on this side to easy to pop up this ceiling sitting on this on this seal okay so i get the new little bit oil all right i put on a little bit oil so let's try so make sure the slot is there so okay guys so i already put on so yeah so if you didn't put it on like this if the bolt thread is not come out it means your slot is not properly sitting on this so and okay so let's put on the nut and let's torque so right now guys so i don't know if how many torque so base I don't know if how many torque on this nut, so maybe I give at least 45 foot pounds. So if you not trust if what I'm tightening, you go at the manufacturing. But right now I give just only 45 foot pounds at this kind of nut, a uh, 14 millimeter. Okay.